Mike Dell's world number 116. Am I awake? What time is it? was they might be giants with am i awake and yep i'm awake it's a little past my bedtime but uh figured i would uh, get a podcast going here today and of course you're listening to mike dell's world and today is march 23rd 2009 it's officially spring but you would never know it because uh, it's definitely Still cold here in northern Michigan. Of course, we've had uh, 70 degrees once already this year, but uh, right now it's 31 degrees. And I know it's cold because I just got in from getting my tractor out and uh, getting it started and moved into the garage where I can do the uh, springtime maintenance on it. Uh, Looking forward to... uh, warmer weather and uh, getting out there and playing around in the yard and getting the leaves raked leaves raked up and all that good stuff so anyway had a interesting weekend around here my uh, uncle uh, came into town from florida for uh, a couple of days and we had a, a good time with him he's the uh, grandfather of my uh, cousin's son, who uh, is living with us, our 15-year-old. And uh, anyway, he was up here to get his uh, taxes done and uh, just take a little uh, break from uh, Florida, I guess. I, I don't know. Don't uh, <laughs> don't know why anybody would want to come up here if you, if you live in Florida. But uh, 
at least uh, not until another month or so. Then, then it's beautiful up here, you know, April, May, uh, and uh, June are probably the best months uh, as far as I'm concerned. And then again in September, October, it's kind of nice up here. But uh, actually, it's it's pretty nice all year round, but uh, <laughs> you got to be a, a fairly flexible in your in your weather selections but anyway and the other thing that was interesting and, and this is kind of a soapbox issue of mine <laughs> I uh, normally have been doing the uh, my radio show on Saturdays and uh, just recently they moved me to Tuesdays well the guy that uh, took over my Saturday slot called about an hour before the show and uh, said that he couldn't make it and could I fill in for him so okay go over there well come to find out there was an interview uh, of a band or a trio I guess some folk guy uh, I'm, I'm not going to identify him but he's a very uh, recognizable uh, folk legend uh, here in in the upper midwest anyway <laughs> But anybody that's into folk music would would know the name if I was to drop it, but I'm not going to, because uh, what I gotta say about him uh, isn't very complimentary. I mean, he's an awesome folk artist. Uh, don't get me wrong, and his uh, trio is you know they're all top notch musicians and and uh, all in all. But uh, this guy is one of those guys that uh, if you give him a bag of M and M's, he'd probably ask you to take all the red ones out. He's just that picky. Cause, well, the, the the whole deal was he was supposed to come in at the top of the hour. And that doesn't mean show up at the top of the hour. That means, you know, be ready to go at the top of the hour. And he was going to play some live music in the studio. And, you know, he uh, shows up at uh, five minutes after the top of the hour and wasn't even set up. So here I am, you know, playing cds over and over and over again well there's so much noise in the studio there was no way i could get on and say anything because uh, you know just couldn't uh shut them up and they're setting up and you know oh he needs a mic for this he needs to plug in here and oh this doesn't sound right and i mean he was just trying to make it you know sound like some sort of uh studio recording you know like you would for a cd or for an album and man, I'll tell you, uh, by the time we got to doing the interview, it was about uh, 25 minutes to the top of the next hour. And uh, and then all he wanted to do is talk. Well, geez, I'll, you know, I already had a mic for that. But anyway, finally got him to play a couple of songs and, and uh, you know, they're good and, and all that. But man, oh man. <laughs> Some people are just ultra picky. And, you know, I guess, you know, you don't get where uh, he's at, you know, by letting things, you know, be half-assed. But, you know, we're just a little little dinky radio station uh, up here in the Northwoods. And, and uh, you know, it, it don't have to be that good to, to be impressive. Uh, you know, it's pretty good. And, and it turned out nice. I, I did record it. Uh, don't know whether I'll put out any of the recordings, uh, you know, on the podcast here. But it, it turned out pretty well. And I didn't actually do the interview. Uh, another guy came in and did the interview, who was way more familiar with this group, and uh, and that was fine with me. Uh, I ran the uh, soundboard and. <laughs> just got it to uh, sound good on the transmitter so that worked out good but yeah anyway hope everybody's having a decent uh, week there uh, since the last time we spoke on the podcast of course I don't hear much back from you guys I uh, heard a little bit from uh, Lester there he commented uh, Lester you know who you are commented about my last podcast where I climbed up on the soapbox and uh, talking about uh, 
this, that, and the other thing political. And of course, uh, last week's podcast was not office safe or kid safe. Uh, this one will be. I don't uh, plan on <laughs> cussing or, or playing any music that uh, would be inappropriate, but then again, you never know. Actually, my main topic for this week, I, I was thinking, was the digital TV conversion. Uh, a lot of people misunderstand what exactly is going on with that. Uh, I put up a blog post yesterday, and uh, you can probably still see it there as the featured story. Uh, you know, if uh, it's reasonably close to the 23rd, I probably will put up some some other blog posts by the you know in a few days but as of right now it's the featured story it's the and there's a uh, link that you can you can click in the in the post over at mikedell.com that will you know you find your uh, dma oops we got a siren going by the house here i probably didn't hear that maybe you did maybe you didn't but anyway, uh, the uh, the link is to, to an FCC page that you can click on your DMA, which is your designated market area. Uh, so, you know, if you live in Miami, it would say Miami. Uh, if you live in uh, Traverse City, it's the Traverse City Cadillac DMA. Uh, you know, Boise, Idaho, so on and so on. So you, you find, you know, whatever market area you're in and click on that and it'll show you maps with, uh, you know, with it outlined where, you know, the analog signal gets from each television station and where the new digital signal is going to get when and if they've switched, you know, you know some, some have already switched and some are going to switch here pretty soon, but everybody's supposed to switch by June 12th. Let's hope that doesn't get pushed back again. I'm tired of talking about No, I'm not tired of talking about it. I'm tired of hearing about it. <laughs> but anyway, it's very interesting. So if you're, you know, at all interested and in, if you're on an antenna television uh, set up, uh, it, uh, it would apply to you. And, you know, uh, I'm really thinking seriously about dumping cable. I've dumped it down to the bare minimums. You know, I got the basic, basic. You know, I've got uh, probably 16 channels of cable. That's it here, you know. And uh, the only thing I get other than the local channels on cable is like C-SPAN, uh, WGN, uh, WTBS, uh, some shopping channel which I don't pay any attention to and the local access and that's about it you know but everything else just uh, local and it's not even in HD and so off an antenna or a pair of antennas in my case just because of the, the weird layout of, of the Traverse City area uh, I figured it out if I get a UHF antenna and point it uh, east I'll pick up uh, PBS, Fox, and uh, ABC, and then I'll get another uh, uh, VHF antenna and point it south, and I'll get uh, NBC and CBS. And on analog, uh, yeah, there's still going to be some analog channels out there. I don't know if you guys knew that, but uh, LPTV, low power TV. Uh, does not have to switch from analog to digital. So I'll still have one local channel on the analog. That's the LPTV channel 12 here in Traverse City. And you know, there's LPTV stations uh, around the country. They're not very well publicized, but uh, eh, kind of interesting. Kind of like Wayne's World. <laughs> you know, not quite public access, but sort of the same thing. But anyway, I thought that link was interesting, so I uh, posted that on the on the blog, and uh, it's uh, it's pretty cool. But you know the the best the best HD you're going to get is off an antenna. 
your cable c company and, or your satellite company, their HD content is going to be compressed way more so than a true uh, HD over the air signal. So you, even if you have cable or satellite, and uh, you know you get get you a little uh, UHF antenna, you know indoor antenna, you know like rabbit ears or a little uh, remember the little hoop antenna. Get one of those. Uh, some, something on UHF. Uh, most most areas are on UHF. We're unique here that NBC and ABC or NBC and CBS are staying on on uh, VHF when they go digital. Uh, you know when they do the conversion. Right now they're on UHF, but they're going to uh, switch back to VHF on June twelfth. But, uh, you know, get your set of rabbit ears. Probably whatever you had uh, that come with a TV would uh, work if you're in close enough. But uh, check that out. Uh, you know, the over-the-air HD is, is actually the best, if you ask me. Hi, I'm Troy Elway, a former pro football quarterback. You might have seen me help win a couple of football titles for my team back in the 90s. Nowadays, I work hard helping my team move mountains to build freeways. And when it's time for dinner, and my lady don't feel like cooking for me, I don't sell for any puny TV dinner, I demand the best. Introducing New Swanee HD TV dinners, with five times the food as conventional TV dinners. Just take a look at my chicken dinner. I get a whole chicken, not just two pieces, a whole baked potato, a thick slice of Texas toast, fried zucchini, cranberries, stuffing, and a big heaping of apple pie for dessert. Ain't that right, John Aikman? You said it, Troy. My Mexican HGTV dinner has four giant tacos, two burritos, an enchilada, a chimichanga, a tostada, rice, refried beans, and a cinnamon stick dessert. And these HGTV dinners save me money, too, because it would cost twice as much to buy five ordinary TV dinners to get the equivalent size of a single HGTV dinner. This is Troy again, taken from me and John, two former pro football quarterbacks who know a winning team when they see one. When it's time to tackling a rough appetite, don't settle for low definition solutions. Upgrade to a high definition TV dinner with Swanee HD TV dinners and score yourself a touchdown every time you meal. Swanee HD TV dinners, now available in the frozen food section. Look for a new SHD TV dinner a whole Angus meal at bigger stores like Samco and Cost Club. And don't forget to bring a forklift with you. Yeah, that's what everybody needs. Uh, HD TV dinner instead of the uh, normal uh, standard definition TV dinner. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I probably have explained this or uh, somebody might have explained it, but uh, just in case you're, you're not sure... Or you're, you've never heard this before, uh, you know when when all the TV stations move to digital you know, for good, they have the option, and not all TV stations are doing it, but uh, they do have the option of running, I believe, one HD channel and one or two other, or maybe three other uh, standard definition. Uh, channels you know they can they can sort of pick the bandwidth you know so like you know around here we've got channel 7 which is the NBC affiliate and channel 7 when they first put up their digital channel or their digital transmitter which is ironically on channel 15 or channel 50 digital on UHF they uh, they started out with uh, it was 7.1, which was the main NBC feed and, you know, their main feed for the NBC affiliate. And then on uh, 7.2, they had, uh, for a long time, they had uh, uh, something called the Tube, which was basically a video, music video channel, yeah, similar to what MTV used to be. And then uh, on 7.3, they had NBC Weather Plus, 
which was NBC's version of the uh, Weather Channel, which didn't go very far, and uh, and of course now uh, NBC owns the Weather Channel, so <laughs> different thing. But so now what they did is, well, first off, the the NBC affiliate here in town has an operating agreement with the ABC affiliate in town. Basically, they bought them, but uh, the ownership rules are such that uh, a different broadcasting company owns the ABC affiliate and then, you know, entered into an operating and sales agreement with the NBC affiliate. So both NBC, ABC, and actually CW Network are all three in one studio. So what they did around here... As I've explained, I think, before, we've got uh, multiple channels since our market's big, uh, physically big, but not overly populated. You know, each of the uh, stations around here have uh, satellite transmitters in other cities, you know, to cover the whole DMA. So, like, our NBC affiliate has a transmitter... Uh, south of Traverse City, and then another one in Sheboygan. The ABC affiliate has has a uh, transmitter here near Traverse City and another one near Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan, up, up uh, almost on the Canadian border. And since those are, those two uh, setups are, or setups, two uh, uh, affiliates are now one entity what they're doing is so channel 7 which is traditionally NBC 7.1 digital is NBC 7.2 digital is ABC and then uh, channel 29 which was the main ABC station uh, 29.1 is the ABC affiliate and 29.2 is NBC. And they did that with all four transmitter sites. So instead of having two transmitters to cover the market, they've got four now. And, uh, you know, some of it's a little bit redundant uh, here in Traverse City. Like, like I said, uh, it's a, you know, if you live right in uh, Traverse City, Half of the stations are south and half of the stations are east of town. But it works out to where if I have my antenna pointed east, I can get NBC off of the ABC transmitter on the secondary channel. Or if I'm pointed south, I can get the ABC off of the uh, NBC transmitter. So... <laughs> And I don't know what they're doing with the CW network. Uh, they're not up and running with that right now. It's uh, Right now it's cable only. They have a call sign. I don't know why they have a call sign, but uh, it's a cable only channel. W, was it WVBC, I think. And uh, they're on channel 61 cable, which I don't get on my limited cable, but... Uh, Eventually, I think they're going on the air somewhere on the transmitters, too, but uh, don't know. And uh, to be honest with you, don't really care, only because uh, there's nothing on the CW network that I even know about. And uh, if there was, I probably wouldn't want to watch it. Uh, last time, the, the last thing that was on, on the CW network, actually it was on the... Uh, U UBN network or UPN network was uh, Star Trek Voyager or no Star well Star Trek Voyager was there too but uh, Star Trek Enterprise was uh, on UPN but UPN and uh, and uh, the Warner Brothers network uh, merged and now it's called the CW don't know uh, how they're doing or anything about them anymore but. Yeah. that's all right. I don't have to know. Uh, like I said, I, I'm not a super big TV fanatic. I do 
you know, I, I have to say that there are some good shows out there. Uh, the current ones that I like are like House on, on Fox, uh, Lie to Me on Fox. If you haven't seen that one, it's pretty cool. Or check it out on Hulu if uh, you haven't seen it over the air. And uh, I kind of got sucked into Heroes a little bit, but uh, it, I can take it or leave it. Of course, I like My Name is Earl. And, uh, and oh, of course, I like all the Fox cartoons. Uh, you know, American Dad. Uh, what is it? Family Guy. Uh, Simpsons, of course. And, you know, I, I like all those, but, you know, then again, I can sort of take or leave those. I, I don't try to catch those live because I know they're going to be rerun and rerun and rerun and rerun and... Uh, or if I'm really bored, I'll, I'll see them on Hulu. But <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So that's the, the TV thing. But yeah, definitely check out those maps. Uh, look up the uh, DTV post on MikeDell.com and all that. Sorry, I'm not real talkative today. It's, uh, it's one of those days, I think I've talked about this before. But uh, it seems sometimes there's things going on in one's life that uh, if, you know, if, if I started going on it, uh, it would be an hour and a half and it would be a whole lot of stuff that I really didn't want to get out into the public. Uh, you know, not, nothing major going on and uh, nothing, you know, juicy or anything, but, you know, stuff that, uh, you know, I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't want family members or co-workers or or uh, other you know other particular groups to to hear the the grisly details about and <laughs> without talking about the grisly details there's no sense talking about it so uh, therefore I'm not but <laughs> kind of makes it hard to put out a podcast uh, when the podcast is about what you're thinking about and you can't really express uh, fully what you're thinking about and uh, like I said don't you know it's nothing nothing earth shattering or, or anything like that but uh, you know uh, yeah my, my life is pretty much an open book uh, but you know I like to keep a few pages uh, uh, hidden from view and so that's uh, that's that's what I'm doing now so <laughs> anyway I got another uh, appropriate song to the subject matter here, you know, talking about digital TV and TV in general and all that. And this is three minutes and 23 seconds if you'd like to uh, fast forward through it. But uh, here it is. It's called uh, Big TV, and it's by Rick Seberg. <laughs> Dr. Phil, I try to be polite And just because it hurts you so I don't turn on the fights But when I'm cruising Costco Dot com I can dream What you don't need for girly shows a larger screen I want a big TV Surround sound and a real loud bass Hey man, in my face I want a big TV
talking about I got a nice wall all Now you know just what I think Regarding this ordeal I know you've asked for 20 years To tell you how I feel Okay, got to push the right button to uh, get my voice on there. <laughs> oh well, that's what I get for uh, recording live to the hard drive, as I do, using Cast Blaster. Of course, that's going to change. I've got uh, got plans, I'm talking about TV, i got plans for this PC that I'm using currently. It's got a uh, HD TV tuner in it, and I've got a... Uh, a program called Beyond TV, which is uh, kind of a PC DVR thing and works really good. But when I get my uh, antennas up, of course, I got the dog barking upstairs. I don't know why he's barking, but uh, he is. But anyway, uh, the plan is to move this PC upstairs and hook it to the flat panel TV using the Beyond TV DVR and that way I'll be able to record HD and that, that'll be uh, really nice uh, what's nice uh, you know like I said I think last time or last week I talked about uh, you know people not wanting to go out and buy a flat screen TV about a month ago I, I went out and got a 42 inch Sony flat panel <laughs> and it's uh, just right for this little log cabin our uh, our living room is uh, perfect size for that and it's it's been nice you know, we watched uh, some uh, movies this weekend uh, and uh, got a, a DVD player that upscales uh, actually <laughs> I don't know you remember the HD DVD versus Blu-ray fight. Well, after the uh, HD D DVD pulled out of the uh, fight, you could get the HD DVD uh, players for fairly cheap. And uh, that's what I did. I went out and bought, uh, you know, an HD DVD uh, player. And what's nice about it is, is it uh, does a really good job of upscaling normal DVDs. And that's what I got it for. But anyway, but anyway, I'm going to take this PC upstairs and, and uh, that's going to be the, the uh, multimedia uh, PC hooked to the 42 inch flat panel and have a wireless keyboard and mouse and and of course, uh, I also got the remote control that uh, controls Beyond TV really, uh, really well. In fact, it's made for it. I think it's called Firefly uh, Remote. So I'm all set up for that. So that's what I'm going to do with this one. And then I've got another PC that I'm going to build 
as a either and I haven't decided yet Fedora 10 or Ubuntu uh, box and once I can figure out how to get the sound to work properly on it uh, that's what I'm going to use for podcast recording uh, possibly and the other possibility is uh, at work they have some uh, older Macintoshes but uh, still work cla- or uh, workstation class machines and if I can get that get one of them cheap enough from from work I might use a uh, Mac G5 as my recording uh, PC or recording computer but yeah who knows <laughs> it's an ever evolving ever changing thing so Anyway, I don't don't really have a whole lot more to talk about this week, so I think I'll cut this one short. It was at 36 minutes. Uh, So I'm going to play another tune, but I won't be back after that. So we'll just uh, catch you next week. And uh, maybe I'll feel like doing some mobile recording and uh, throw out something in between. But... uh, if not, uh, should be out Monday. Uh, the next, the next one. I appreciate you staying subscribed, and uh, even when I have one of these uh, less than spectacular shows, uh, you know, hang in there. Sometimes I do some good stuff, and <laughs> sometimes I just speak my mind, which is what I did today. So this is another Jonathan Colton song. It's called uh, When You Go, and we'll catch you next next time here on Mike Dull's World. Only a moment ago we had nothing but time Everything lasted forever Just for the time it buys me Fold my heart up small Or break it into pieces Find somewhere and keep it there Take it when you go In the cast of your eyes I saw this coming But still I am caught by surprise All of this time I knew that I'd be losing you That doesn't mean that it's so That doesn't mean I'm ready Fold my heart up small Or break it into pieces Find somewhere and keep it there Take it when you go no good for anyone and 
This podcast is part of the Blueberry Network. Find freshly picked podcasts just for you at Blueberry.com. That's Blueberry, no ease, dot com. This is Mike James from Mike Thanks News, and you're listening to Mike Dell's World. I don't know what it's about, but I like it.
This podcast is produced with Cast Blaster.